model walk like that? Like, <laughs> Don't you love how like models come down to the end of their do like fashion dock? And they like come down like this, and they're like this, and then they look at you like this? Fuck off! <laughs> Don't you like how they do that when you love to do that? Go to hell! And we're like, more! We love you! Are we pathetic? I would love to be a like, true fashion model, like a real model. I'm just busy doing this. <laughs> and also the clothes factories don't ask me to do that. <laughs> I think it's because I'm not long enough. That's the problem. Ooh, I'm not long enough. I have a cousin who's a true, actual, real for real fashion model for real, and you should see how long she is. <laughs> She's so long and leggy and like tall, and like, I don't hate her, I just hate being in the same room and next to her. Cause she's so long, like one of those girls is like a long, leggy, long leg, like so long, like so long that it like renders her butt so desirably high up off the floor. Like that kind of girl. And blonde too, like blonde and strong, and like really like sporty and long and strong. Probably because she was breastfed, wanting all. <laughs> Big whoop. Not everybody gets to get breastfed, okay? Some people's brothers come along first and essentially trash the diner. <laughs> That's why I didn't get to get that. I've been rendered a right for life. I, I, I was on the way here and I went through the town square. Oh my god, the town square, Young Dundas Square. Oh, the town square. And guess who I ran into there? You know him. You know him. This guy. Jesus loves you! I ran into that old guy. You know that guy at the town square? Jesus loves you, he says. And somehow he's on every corner of the square. Like quadruplicated on every every corner of the square that you may arrive at. Train up to walk to you. Yeah, okay. You know, I don't know what to say to that guy. I just am always like this. Oh, okay. Um, well, just tell him I'm um, popping into home sense briefly. <laughs> Jesus loves you. I don't know what to say to that guy, but I'll tell you this much. Typical, typical. Of course Jesus would love me. It's like always the guys I don't really give a frig about who are like obsessed with me. <laughs> Typical! <laughs> the only way I would like be into Jesus back is if Jesus was like, kind of like, mean to me. <laughs> hoppa hoppa! <laughs> that's my type. Historically, that is my type. <laughs> like the kind of guy who like, only ever, ever puts his arm around you if there's like another guy hitting on you or like another messiah hitting on you. And it's like always kind of too tight right around your neck. Like, ah! <laughs> that's my type. <laughs> you know what? If it was mutual between me and Jesus, you wouldn't catch me on the corner telling every Joe Schmo that Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. Because I know what kind of like girl I am. And if I'm into a guy at all, I don't even want him looking at anyone else, let alone loving anyone else but me! <laughs> you guys were like, oof, that one wasn't a joke. <laughs> that one was not a joke. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of girl I am. I don't want to open things up. I'd be on the corner like this. I'd be on the corner like, Jesus loves me and he thinks you're a basic bitch and he barely even knows you're alive. And every time I mention your name, he's like, who? <laughs> raised religious at all, like not one shred even, like I was baptized, I didn't go to church, nothing, but uh, it didn't stop my parents from putting me in a lot of kind of Bible adjacent church sponsored kind of youth group things, uh, because it was free, free childcare. They saw the brochure, they're like, free, hmm, maybe we have heard the good word. <laughs> And they told me, you go there now after school and don't screw it up! <laughs> so I was like, okay, so then I went. And I like, you know, tried to fit in, I, you know, don't screw it up, be incognito, go under the radar, nose to the grindstone, go on the periphery, you know, 
be cool, don't blow your cover. Uh, and I did it, I was cool, until that is him time rolled around. That's when I always blew my cover when him time came around. Because I was a kid that had the music in me, you know, I really had the music in me as a kid. And the music in me, especially compared to these kind of like, Dudley indoor kind of churchy milk dud indoor kids. They were always phoning it in at him time. They were like, Lord, I lift your name on high. And I was like, Lord, I love to sing your praises. to my feet. I was like, hand of God onto my heart. Hey, I left a good job in the city. <laughs> they didn't like it though. They got really suspicious after a while. They started asking a lot of questions, you know, like, were you even baptized even, they'd say. I'm like, yes. I don't worry about me. I got that covered. Full coverage up the code. Don't worry about me. Shut up. You know? They're like, good, because if you don't get that done, then you don't get to get into heaven, then you know. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm coming with you. Relax, okay? I'll be there, you know? I can't wait. I can't wait to be dead for that. Those kids were drinking the Kool-Aid. They were like, well, do you even go to church? I'm like, yeah. Day only? Yeah. Like, well, we never seen you there. I'm like, that's because my dad owns the church, so we have a box. <laughs> my friend has a child. He's getting older and bigger now. I don't know how old he is. He's big. He's like, I don't know, here? I don't know. He stinks and he's old enough that it's his own fault. That's how old he is. You know? That's how old he is. And I, would have, I always get stuck talking with this kid. What do you want to be when you grow up? You know, really original. What do you want to be when you grow up, I said. And he's like, well, I either want to be like a computer coder of doing software, and like coding, or I want to be like a rock and roll drummer. And I was like, oh, brother. And I said to his mom, I took her aside, I said, hey, do me a favor, kind of steer him away from the drumming, okay? Coding, coding, coding's where it's at. Think of his future, don't have him going to drumming. I said, think of my future, like, I don't want to have to eventually one day fuck your son. <laughs> Coding! <laughs> we don't need any more drummers. <laughs> you know? I can't have any more keys cut. <laughs> you guys are such a friendly crowd. What a nice treat for me. Um, I have a hard time in my day to day life. I get cyber bullied, you see? I get cyber bullied really bad. It's online. Really badly cyberbullied. Like, gleefully badly cyberbullied every day. As a comedian, probably all the comedians on the sign can tell you, as a comedian, especially a girl comedian, like, girls' comedian videos online get roasted bad by cyberbullies. Like, and guess what? They're all boys. Look at that. They're all boys at cyberbully on girls' videos. And when I say boys, I don't mean like likely the boys that are find themselves here tonight. I mean boys, like the kind of boy that's like cyberbully, not from a phone or even like a laptop even, but from a computer. <laughs> a computer that is inside a computer room. <laughs> that kind of boy, a neck beard as well. And a, a neck in a Pikachu pajama or something. <laughs> Am I painting a picture? That's the kind of guy. And the real original, they all say the same thing. This sucks, women suck, women can't, can't tell jokes. This sucks, she sucks, women aren't funny even. Over and over and over. This sucks, women suck. And what they say is, and they, all, they can all say this, everyone says, golden rule, don't read the comments. You're putting art online, don't read the comments, you know? But, um, I like to go my own way on these things. I like to go my own route, go against the grain, and I do this instead. I read every single comment like this. Just like the way I like to deal with it. And I 
try not to reply until they start getting personal. They always do. Like one guy was like, look at her big buck teeth like a gopher. He, was, he said, nice veneers, he said. And I was like, actually, they're my natural normal teeth and they're just naturally too big for my face. <laughs> And then one guy was like, oh, she's so loud, she talks so fast, her voice is so annoying. And he said, how many lines does this bitch do before she gets on stage? And I said, actually, I don't do any lines, thank you very much. I just jump into one big pile and do it all at once because I don't care for fiddly things. <laughs> thank you. But anyway, so I'm doing my nightly revisiting of my videos. <laughs> and then I saw a comment that said this, enough, the comment said, I was like, it said, enough is enough, and I looked and it was from a girl, oh, a girl, and she was defending me, enough is enough, she said, I'm sick of you sexist prick, piglet, piggy, sexist pigs, saying women are funny, I've had enough, and I was like, all oh, right on, because she wrote like a big one, big oh. and then she went on to say, yes, granted, this woman does suck. <laughs> Like, 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 like